Let's roll. The Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah is sealing up the breaches that are between the northern and the southern kingdom, man. Let's go. America has less than 628 days. That's another video of Tahar claiming that same prophecy. Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, right? But Israel. But, but, but Israel. But, but Israel. All right. Uh, let's see. Day three now. We got we're back at Lodi and um, doing a whole bunch of breakout rooms today. Well, I won't be doing a whole lot of it. I'm going with the vocab to uh, talk to some Black Hebrew Israelites, but um, should be fun. Today's kind of a long day, Saturday, so it's um, it's going to be nine o'clock here soon, and we probably won't be done until like 11 p.m. <laughs> or later. But that's when we're that's when we're going out to eat after everything else is over. So yeah, it's going to be a long day. Coming up to me, approaching me with problems he had with uh, Christianity, trying to draw me away from Christ, trying to convince me that Christianity is not true. He would say things like, you know the Bible is full of a whole bunch of contradictions, you can't trust that mess. Uh, he would say, um, miracles are obviously not possible, we know this in this day and age. What, what are you thinking believing in miracles? Mary was not a virgin for crying out loud. You know that woman was getting around. She was very, he was very crass. Um, he would say, uh, your God is a vindictive, bloodthirsty, disgusting, horrific, evil being who killed his own son because he's that bloodthirsty. Well, I would respond to him with whatever he brought to me for the day or the week. But one day I decided I was going to ask him a question. I had been reading William Lane Craig, Gary Habermas, Michael Icona on the uh, minimal facts case for the resurrection of Jesus. And I knew that my boss prided himself on being a great debater, on being really well informed, knowing the latest scholarship. And so I really didn't have a whole lot of hope that this was going to go well for me, but I wanted to know how someone like him would respond, so that maybe I'd be prepared if someone who was open to the truth would, uh, bring, would um, maybe be open to this at some point in the future. And so I asked him, I said, you know, are, are you, for, it sounds like you're familiar with the, um, the facts that virtually all scholars of all different worldviews and backgrounds, including non-Christians, agree happened. Uh, surrounding the life and death and apparent resurrection of Jesus that resulted in Christianity. You know, things like, you know, that, that Jesus was actually crucified. The disciples really believed they, you know, they, they saw him risen from the dead, things like this. He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with, with, the, with the, all of that. I said, so what do you think happened that resulted in Christianity? And he goes, looks down and kind of thinks for a second. He goes, well, something happened. And I kind of I kind of laughed. I'm like, well, yeah. I mean, Christianity is now the largest religion in the world. Something happened, obviously. But my question is, what do you think happened? And he kind of looks down again. He thinks about it for a second. He goes, well, fortunately, unlike you, I don't feel like I need to have the answers to every single question. <laughs> I said, well, if you're only going to look for the answers to one question. If there's any possibility at all that Jesus was who the records say he claimed to be, if there's any chance, any possibility that, that Jesus was deity in the flesh who died for our sins to give us eternal life, wouldn't that be the one question you would want to look into with an open mind? So what is Hebrew Israelism? Now this is according to a scholar named Jacob Dorman, and here's what he says. He defines these types of religions this way. Religions that teach that the ancient Israelites of the Hebrew Bible were black and that contemporary black people are their descendants. So the, that's the way a scholar would define Hebrewism. The way I would define it, it's a little longer though. So if you're writing it down, it's going to go woo 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 woo. Hebrewism is a web of belief and practice 
based upon two central and inaccurate claims. If you wanted to be kind, you could say two dubious claims, perhaps, which are most descendants of enslaved persons thought to be of African descent are actually the biblical Israelites. That's the first claim, similar to what Dorman said. Secondly, your lineage has salvific, or you could say ecclesiastical import. Here's what I mean by that. Here's a short version of what I just said with the second point. God cares who your father is. Every version of Hebrewism I've ever encountered, I've been studying this for over eight years, has an ethnic hierarchy. So they're the hardcore guys who will say, if you're of the wrong nation, you're going to be a slave in the kingdom of heaven. That's what you're going to do forever to the Israelites. And remember, they're saying the Israelites, right? The softer, kinder versions might say something like this. You won't be a slave, but you'll have to know your place or your role as a Gentile. So you'll be in your place, we'll be in ours. You'll come in once a year. You'll bring uh, us your stuff, your goods. There's some way, though, where even if you're grafted in under those reckonings, there's still an ethnic hierarchy. So there can be a soft ethnic hierarchy or a harsh ethnic hierarchy. Are you guys following? So like every religion, right? This is not a monolith. Not all the groups are the same. So if you take this little course, and I'm glad you are, but you meet somebody, don't be like, yeah, I know everything now because I was there in the lunchroom that one day and they were trying to get the HDMI set up. You just ask them questions. Ask the questions, people. Then that's good for every apologetic encounter. Don't assume, be like, oh, I know what you believe. Say, well, tell me what you believe about X, Y, Z. And hopefully you have a forthright person. There's lots of forthright people in this thing. There's also a lot who aren't as forthright. And sometimes you'll learn over time, oh, that's not really what you meant when you told me that, or you were hiding that doctrine. And that's just how it goes with these encounters. But ask the questions. Ask the questions. Anybody know in the Bible what an Edomite would be? Who would be their forefather? Edom. Esau, right. And they lived in the land of Edom. In the New Testament, when it's in Greek, it goes to Edomia. Edomia. And so a lot of Hebrews lights, not all, but a lot will say at least Jews are actually Edomites. And sometimes they'll say all white people are Edomites. Now you may say, wait a minute, I'm, I'm part Irish. I'm part Italian. I'm part German. What do you mean? That's the ancestral lineage they've created to put different people groups into categories in the Bible. Because you may not know a lot about Edom. You've probably heard more about Rome and Assyria and Babylon. But if you read the Old Testament scriptures with the minor prophets, there's a lot of oracles of doom against Edom. All right, let's see. It is ridiculously hot. This is James. Say hi, James. Hello. We're doing a trip down to Cleveland now with vocab. Yes. So, um... I'm going to go talk to some black Hebrew Israelites and uh, hopefully not get beat up. Hopefully. I mean, but like, praise be to God if we do. Hey, they'll listen to, they'll listen to him, not me. I'm, I'm white, so they're not going to listen to me, but I'm, I'm a dirty Edomite, yeah. So, uh, I'll be fun. Just had some good lunch and uh, full of some food and the spirit, so getting ready to go. All right. On the roll. Here we go. This is so much fun. What's good, guys? What's good? How y'all doing? It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. So, behold, speak thou in the ears of my feet. My people possess some foe now. The nation of Israel is the people of the most high, when the Lord comes down, Jesus Christ, man. All right, y'all should all of that. 
Go ahead. The words of prophecy. The words of prophecy. That's what we're doing. We're prophesying, which means to say before it comes to pass. Okay? We're not speaking our own vain opinions. We're speaking the words of whom the word ignorantly calls God of Jesus Christ, man. Proper name, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. That speak against me, man. What's the incredulity? That's their unbelief. When you look it up, so in the Romans 3 and 3, it says, well, what does some not believe? Shall that unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Let the Most High be true and let every man be a liar, man. But in reality, we out here for our people and we don't give a damn who don't want to listen. I got one for you. This chart came from a man who prophesied Yahweh Shai was coming back in 1999, but he didn't come back. So aren't you worried he's a false prophet? I'm going to add this too, because that was already, the, the, the apostles had already mentioned the, the year 2000. They already mentioned that account and, and how uh, uh, that was a stumbling block, all right, for those men around at that time for the Lord to sift because there's always a sifting going on, all right? That's that's really old news, man. We're speaking about the things that's going on right now while we're living, these plagues that the brother about to continue reading are, are manifesting on the earth. Hold your peace. But Deuteronomy 18 I'm not taking says questions. that if a prophet Go speaks ahead. the word presumptuously right now, in my name, right now, which I have not commanded him to speak, or which he speaks right now, in the name of other no gods, God alone, the prophet shall die. The scripture speaks about, According to this, Ariah should die. The scripture speaks about building upon another man's foundation. That's there's, right. a, there's a countless corners that you could go preach. Your and that's why you guys go in churches, because you build corners. upon our foundation. There's a corner there, 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 and there, and there that you can go preach. And your you're God. on all three of them, so we could go to all three of them. But here this no, says... No. If a prophet speaks the name of God and doesn't come to pass, he should die. So why would you use a false prophet's chart? I just said we believe through faith pursuing Ezekiel 37. All right, the, the stick, we can get it. All right, that's he should die. One hand, that the Lord is sealing back the breach that's between the northern and the southern kingdoms. That's right. The Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, is sealing up the breaches that are between the northern and the southern kingdom, man. Let's go. All right, so they out here killing each other. Our people all right, had a curse upon them. Their eyes are evil towards their brothers. People they have no brothers. hatred towards their true enemy. We're sort right. Psalms, the 83rd chapter, yeah. and it lists off the enemy. The first one being Esau, Edom. In Psalms 83, they have no issue with them, but all their art is against their brothers. Right. Always being ready to make a defense to everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope, you hope that's you, that is in you, yet with gentleness and fear. I see the fear, but I don't see any answer. Okay, we're not about to go this back and forth with you, man. Why do you this have a charge by a false prophet? Now keep going, huh? Keep going. What if this and is by a false prophet? Wouldn't that make you purveyors of a false prophet's message? Or fulfilled. Because get, get you just admitted that prophecy never came to pass. Your excuse it. was it was a sieve. It is bring a sieve. To First sieve out first false first prophets first from first real six. prophets. This is Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 6. You got to talk to someone, get the mic. For wickedness, here is the patience and the faith for the sin. I'll just move. Clearly describes that twelve tribes of Israel as the saints, because the word saint means holy, man. Who are the saint? people? Who are the whole people of the Lord? The Israelites. Is Judas the saint? And guess what? You Edomites are going to slavery That's under right. us, man. Is, because they have guess a saint? what? So-called white people have not paid for their crimes which they committed. The reason why you get to live such a luxurious life, saint? a comfortable life, so-called white people, is because the time, they have they living off the bloodshed of their forefathers. Is they have a saint? And guess what? Guess what? Your day of reckoning is coming, my man. See, you're looking for a way out, it's man. It's Judas the You are looking for a way out. Yeah. There's no way you're you looking for a way out of the discussion. Uh -oh. Come, get, That's why oh, you're just threatening us for future slavery. This Jeremiah 30 and 16. Okay. Therefore, all day that have devoured them no shall be devoured. Yeah. And all thy adversaries, Jesus. every one That's of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. All that pray upon thee will I give for a prey. But guess what the Lord said? Including GMS. Isaiah 25 and 17. But Israel, all of them collectively, shall be saved in the Lord. Yahweh, with an everlasting salvation, ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. A world without, without end. end. Uh, so no matter, hey, two thirds bro. gonna be in the kingdom with us, it, drinking it, wine, bro. Judas, you, Judas, 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 yeah, Judas too. Oh, that one's. That's right. what we are. We call that. We go out here calling out to our fellow no, brothers no, no, no. out here. Look at the word Greek. The only thing, in the Greek, unless church, you it's turn and repent, you don't the only thing that. you said is no. You don't no, look at the word. I could get a scripture. You don't look at the word. We, we, got, we, gotta, we, we give you a scripture after this. See, yes. That's why you this has to come on. Because he says after this verse, and then it becomes two. Why are you trying to control? I want to have a discussion. Hold on, okay? We got you, man. You want to get this? This is Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold. The nations the are as a drop of a bucket. And that little sanctuary is only for the elect, and they have a problem that they have no part with us. 
If you get a circumcision, right. Jesus is of no value to you. And we ain't dealing with opinions. We're dealing with scriptures. And he just Read quoted a scripture, scripture Hey, if you got a circumcision, Jesus is of no value to you. That's, That's, That's what So who did Jesus die for? Supposedly. The, right? the whole world. No, no, no. Okay. So look, so look, so I got a scripture Anyone who believes in Jesus okay, will have a scripture for you. John 3.16. Go into that word. John 3.16. John 3.16. John 3.16. That's the verse everybody knows all the time. Jesus died for everyone. He died for everyone. Everybody who okay. believes in the Son, okay, okay. anyone well, who believes in the Son well, will have we'll eternal what life. Say about that. All right? This is, uh, John 3.16, that's where it says it. Acts 5 and 30. After he reads. Yes, it says, Romans 2, 20, the power 25. of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, who he slew and hanged on the tree. Him have Yahweh exalted with his right hand to be a prince and savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. That's in the New Testament. So is everyone here circumcised in the flesh? So hold on, no. Is everyone here circumcised in the flesh? Hey, we got a misunderstanding of circumcision. No, no. There's two. There's two. There's two. Right. Right. In Romans 2.29, but he is a Jew who is born inwardly, and circumcision is of the heart. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 So those are the people when it talks about uh um uh, uh what's it called it what they call it not heathens but um Hellenists Hellenists no one of our people the Gentiles that's the Gentiles talking about anytime we talk about salvation or we talk about Israel our people became heathens when they start falling out these customs man right back in that was during the Greek time now what speaking of today the American time our people consider themselves Americans they ain't calling themselves Israel right so now they're heathens man and that's how we look at them man. You know what I'm saying? If heathens yourself, are those who worship another heathen, god, man. and you guys worship a false god. You're by definition heathens. We just read a word. Also, you read the Apocrypha. You read a verse. I'm going to read a verse. You read the Apocrypha, but Jesus never hey, quoted got, the Apocrypha. No, no, because you're not. Go ahead. Here's what, what I just tried to talk, and he, that's what he said. Bring it up. Okay. No, because because every time I do it, someone says, you're talking too much. You are. Okay, well, I'm here. I'm not, listen, I'm not going anywhere, so you might as well deal with me in earnest, or it's going to be an awful time. Bring it up, okay. Okay. Bring it up. Here's what Luke chapter 24 says. Was it not necessary for the Christ to suffer these things and to enter into his glory? Notice the disrespect these men have for the word of God. The second it's a verse they don't want to hear, they start having a chatty Cathy session because you're afraid to hear a Bible verse that contradicts your position. If you knew the word, you wouldn't have to do the Tom Brady huddle. You could just listen to the word. Now Luke chapter 24 says this. He said to them, O oh foolish ones, slow of heart to believe in all that the prophets have spoken. Was it not necessary for the Christ to suffer these things and to enter into his glory? Verse 27, Luke 24. Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted them the things concerning himself and all the scriptures. Apocrypha is not mentioned. Come Right now, how, how did America gain this... Uh how, what, what kingdom did right? What kingdom did America uh, 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 stem from? July Fourth just passed. The British. Oh, the British. My man, my man. I got it. See, my man. All right. So he he knows that, right? Did, did you know that book? Yeah. Okay, you did, right? Okay, yeah, look, so, it's pretty, okay, obvious. listen, now listen, now listen. I know what you're going to say. You're okay. going to try to get America out of these European nations. Well, right? how else but did it's, America... it's assumption upon assumption. No, it's not assumption, But here's man. the thing. He just, your like, prophecies he about America, that. here's why we shouldn't have to listen to them. Because your big prophecies about America... Hold on, hold on, hold on. We about to get I got videos from the There are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. But the five are fallen is Germania Major, Germania Minor, the Spanish, the British, and then the French. Because those are the previous kings that that were that were established before America gained this uh emancipation. You are reading a description what is, nope. the description what is not there. Anybody see those names in there? You are reading what is not there. Anybody you see those you, you see those names in there, brother? No, I do not. You guys got a magnifying glass on you, man? Well you asked me about specifically about America. Maybe a telescope history and that's not in the Bible either. These men it's not in the Bible. Look, 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 look. If you were 
are truly about the truth, you would not Nobody read into, into scripture what is not there. Amen. 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 When you're back into a corner, you start asking us about hats, beards, and juice. Why do you go to the Apocrypha? Why do you go to the Apocrypha when you can't read it in Scripture? It's not Scripture. Because it's not canon. Why not? Because that is a part of the Scripture. The Jews did. Did it? The Jews. Jesus never quoted the Apocrypha. Don't you know the 1611 Bible comes with the Apocrypha? That's the Bible. But it separates it. They separate it. Separate. But that's how the Bible was originally made. The no. whole thing. Oh, that's the reason why they got rid of it, though, right? Do you know what, apoc you know what apocrypha uh, means? They, they got it out of this there. Because, hold on. I'm about to show you. Apocrypha means hidden away. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Listen, listen, listen. This is the Apocrypha. This is from the online King James Version Bible, right? We're not it saying it's scripture. Hold on, stop talking. Let me yeah, talk man. to you. It says the Apocrypha is a selection of books which were published in the original 1611 King James Bible. These apocryphal books, which are 14, might I add, were positioned between the Old and the New Testament. It contained maps and genealogies, right? Hold on, listen. The Apocrypha was a part of the KJV for 274 what about years. The KJV? Stop talking over me. Right. Fucking listen. What about right. It says the Apocrypha was a part of the KJV, the King James Version Bible, for 274 years until being removed in 1885 AD. Anno Domini, right? At, uh, at the, uh, we got manuscripts death, right? that go before that. It says that a way. portion. Of these books were called after death. What? Yeah. Google canonical books by some entities such as the Catholic Church. Now we don't give a damn that the Catholic Church don't want to receive it because what? Their whole thing is universal. Uh, come as you are and, and they receive everyone. The Lord is not with that. He and right. soldiers right. as right. yeah, we're good. That was a trip. I'm going down to see vocab and everybody else at the other location. Oh, thank you. Oh, that scripture twist is starting to kill me. Oh my gosh. Oh, water. So, uh, I don't know if you could see, but they didn't really ever answer questions. They just asked lots of questions, yelled over us, cursed at us, called me a dummy, called me a effing Edomite. Uh, not any, like, actual answers. And there were a couple times when vocab started speaking where they just kind of stopped. They just kind of stopped and shut up. It's like the word of God, when it's actually spoken, shuts the mouths of people who would come against it. I'm amazing, right? So let's see what's going on down here. Yeah, I lost it. Sorry. What's the gospel? How's it going, you Edomite? <laughs> First Peter three fifteen. That was a part of. But you guys are literally acting as if we don't exist. Now you may think I'm of Edom, but you don't think that brothers of Edom, do you? Yeah. You don't think that brothers of Edom, do you? You know I ain't from Edom. I'm darker than you. Don't think. Why are they confused? They'll answer a question. They show me how confused I am. Prove it. That's all we're asking. You say you got the truth. Stand on it. That's what the Lord coming back for. If there was one of us out here, they'd be shouting us down, dealing with you. If there was two of you, they deal with you. But since there's more, they're not dealing. God so loved the elect that he gave his only begotten son? I thought it was God so loved the world. The world. And I believe in election, not the way y'all teach it. They got a doctrine that's saved by race through faith. That's what it is. Saved by race through faith. I thought you said saved by grace through faith, but saved by race through faith. 
No, here's what's actually happening. I'm going to read this. And the brothers immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea. When they arrived, they went out to the synagogue of the Jews. Now, listen to this. It says, these were more noble-minded. These were more noble-minded. You guys hear this? Try to let this man through. They hide themselves. Y'all too much for the close to me. Sorry, we just moved because of him. Well, you can punch me if you want. They were more noble-minded than those in Thessalonica, but received the word with great eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see whether the things were so. So you have to try to trip you and trap you. We're just pulling the Bereans on you. Notice the, the Bereans did is they compared what was said to the scripture. All right. <laughs> I just want to show you guys this. The leader of their group came out of this school, and that's him right there. See that guy? That's Tahar. It's old video footage in 1998. Yeah, that's Oltar. Now, you can't hear it that well, but this says that's going to take place before the year 2000. Because they keep on talking about prophecy and stuff, and he's talking about the end of the world. Now, so watch what he specifically says. America has less than 628 days. That's another video of Tahar proclaiming that same prophecy. I'm just saying. So yeah, let's go grab, grab the brothers if you're down. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the north. Yeah. All right. That was it. This is all right. On the way. On the way. There you go. Oh, I don't know if you saw, but they did not engage with him that whole time. The whole time I was standing there, not a single thing except for stop being so close to us oh boy deception is strong we're gonna go and try some other places now and see if we can talk to some more people so Word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up out of the land of Egypt. So bro, we can't, we can't talk to y'all. We can't talk to y'all outside. Have I known the whole families of the So we can't, we can't. So y'all gotta get orders from them to talk. He's only acquainted with what you're doing, bro. Can't have your pastor pulling that on you. You can't speak, sir. I just spoke to the gentleman right there. I spoke to him respectfully. He wasn't having a bad time. Oh, I'm asking you just trying to be nice. This gentleman right here, we just had good dialogue, though. No disrespect at all. He keep telling them not to talk. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He keep why can't y'all talk, yeah. bro? Israel! Israel! Well, bro, why can't they talk with themselves? It's God's covenant people, Israel, man. So when I see everything that's being brought out, I know you are intelligent, man. I know you are speaking of how you are feeling. Behavioral, or behavioral uh, control. If you know the bite model, that's one of the ways that cults control people. They said, don't talk to us. So he made a statement that he said, you can't prophesy with your hair covered. Which is totally out of scripture and out of context. So let's have a let's have a let's have a discussion about it. Yeah, he said he got a cap. He said he got a cap on, so he said he can't talk because he got his head. His head. He got to take his hat off. Do you know what prophecy means? Clearly not. You got a right to divide and murder the truth, and that ain't it. You got this big fat bitch. Hey, go cut. Go cut. Oh, that's the best. That's the best. The best is not to go cut. I'm cutting you. I'm cutting you. What'd you think? Uh, yeah, let me get in the sun. There we go. All right. I think these guys are jokes. Yeah. Um, they just yelled a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yelling a lot. I don't know what went on. Really, I was confused. Speaking so. gibberish. Uh, taking all their verses out of context and then <laughs> want us to put verses in context. Uh -huh. uh, all right, okay. okay. Not answering so. questions, ignoring us. Insulting. Insulting. I got called all kinds of stuff because I'm white, so you yeah, know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Insulted my brother here. Oh, yeah. well. Oh, well. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yep. The true God. What did they say? I'm going to use their own scripture against them. Let God be true and every man a liar. There, there, there you go. go. Amen. Till next time. We are now in an area where they're apparently filming uh, Superman. 
I mean, you look over here, right over there, they've got like filming equipment, I think. And I don't think that that fire truck is part of the set. <laughs> but like, look at this. We got a big old crane here doing something. You got the anything in the back? No, I think I'm good. Yeah, I think you're being down. Yeah. That kind of um, yeah, it's kind of cool. So we're going to see these guys called. What are these guys called? Watchmen of what? Watchmen for Israel. Watchmen for Israel, and they are. Um, geez, almost died there. Um, they're more violent, maybe, maybe. Uh, they have sticks, and they've been known to whack people with sticks if they get too close. So we're not gonna get too close. But uh, yeah. I can't believe I'm walking around in Cleveland, Ohio right now. It's kind of cool. So, we got... Where are they going? James, and Vocab, and me, and Sister K. That's about it. Everybody else had to go, so it's just us. Let's roll. Hey, slow down. I don't, I don't like to do the <laughs> This area is familiar. Is it? Yeah. You've you been here? Street creatures. Okay, watch. Oh, they're good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're talking about. I don't read the Bible, but I do believe in my God. Mr. Book of Genesis, chapter 32 and verse 28. Right. And he said, and he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, right? But Israel. But what? But, but Israel. Israel. What? But Israel. Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God right. and with men, right. and has prevailed. Right. Right. Our name got power. We all princes on this earth, right? Right. They all got power with God, and y'all have prevailed. Right. Straight up and down. Right. So y'all not average. Y'all not regular. Here, get this on film, let's do it. Oh, we got it. We just moved in front of it. We moved it back and forth. Y'all just want to do the fake deal, the big stuff. Yeah, he just moved back and forth. But I was standing here already. I was standing here already. Let's get to this first. Well, why did he move and talk to me then? Well, he moved back over there. He gave me a file. Right, stupid for us. He gave me his personal. Why did he move on top of me? Were you here? Did you see it? Oh, just moved on top of it. Was I not already here? Yeah. He's on his brother. He literally just stepped right in front of me. It's like we into a relationship. Right? Yeah. yeah. We're coming to ask some questions. We're coming to ask some questions. We're coming to ask some questions. What questions do you have? It's more challenges. Look at Mark, chapter 4 at verse 15. Bring it more up. challenges. These are they questions. by the wayside. Right? Where the word is so. Right? But when they have For heard, example, Satan. You got this literature out here, right? Satan, Satan come and be you. You have a 12 tribes chart. My question would be where does that document appear in the Bible, that 12 tribes chart? Genesis 49, along with Deuteronomy. I thought you so, might say that. So, I thought oh, you might say on, that, but that's, oh, but that's not true, though. You can't ask me a question and cut me off. Well, let's right? go there. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go go back. Hold on. Be patient. Be, your emotions up here. Listen. I asked it. You asked the question, right? Yeah. Let's go to Genesis 49. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a See minute. This? Hold on. Let me read a precept for you, because oh, I know a lot boy. of you Christians, you don't know how to keep your composure. No. Even Paul was. Let me tell you listen, something. Listen, listen. The wait a minute. You going to keep? Over here, if you're a man. Keep, hold on. You going to keep cutting me off? Me, we can't dialogue. All right. Wait, this is all on camera. Yeah, I, so when yes, you show, it is. hold on. It's on listen, our camera. Listen, it's not on yours. We're listen, good. Listen. Hold on. Yeah. You going to continue to talk over somebody while you ask the question? It's madness. So let's go to Genesis 49. So hold on. You got a hunch. You ask me a question. Be patient. Be patient. Let's go to Genesis 49. You got to calm down. I'm going to read this verse. You ask me a question, right? Yes or no? Here we go. So I'm going to. Answer, right? From where, Paul, wait a minute. Where's you the gotta, document in scripture? Wow. Y'all gonna allow him to be rude like that? Look at that. I, I, sick. I, I agree told you they tried to divide us. I agree with that. I told you they tried to do that. You said That's it was sick. Genesis 49. Hold on, listen. Know what Genesis 49 you can't says. ask somebody a question and cut them off immediately. That's madness. Wait a minute. It says this in the book of Sirach chapter 11 verse 7. But we wanted Genesis 49. Hold on, listen. We wanted Genesis 49. That's madness. It says 
Lean you can not say it's madness before all you thou want, but we want examine the truth. Understand first, and then rebuke. You, you want to ask a question? I say, so let's question? go to Genesis forty nine. He said, hold on, brother. What's, that's what was mad. The question? Thank you, brother. What was the question? What was the what? What was the question that we asked? You? The question was, well, how did pretty much the validation of that chart? How can you prove its validity, right? I said through Genesis forty nine and Deuteronomy. Before I can even say Deuteronomy, and this one camera. Before I can even say Deuteronomy, so let's go to Genesis forty nine. The hell? I'm not even done yet. You Most mentioned people, the verse. I said, let's see, go there. Hold on. Be quiet. You keep cutting people off. That's madness. Bro. Nobody's going to want to deal with you. You're going to keep cutting people off. Even That's when you watch, right. hold on. Even That's when you watch, right. listen, even when you watch your videos, we try to give people kind of space to talk, explain the matter, kind of go back and forth, have a proper dialogue. It's not true. Hold on. Listen. I watch your videos. Listen. Listen. Hey, listen. You if you say something, off. I'm allowed to speak you back. You keep You're cutting not, me off. Like, I'm going gonna, gonna to speak as so well. So I can say book of Sirach, chapter yeah. 11, That's not the Bible. Jesus never quoted Sirach. Madness. He's taught a script. Just to so say again, it says in first print, I'm sorry, uh, Sarah chapter 11, verse 7, lame not before thou hast examined the truth, understand first, and then rebuke. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause, neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. It also says in first Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40, let all things be done decently and in order. It's not being in order, neither is it being decent to cut another man off. You learn that when you're a child. So That's madness. You, so Hold on, wait, I'm Genesis almost done. 49. I'm almost done. I can, but y'all got to be patient and not cut people off. Because if you cut people off, you're not going to hear the answer. So as I was saying, when you go to Genesis 49, when you go to the, uh, the latter chapters of Deuteronomy 28, you will find that it's all uh, prophesied according to which nations or which tribe is going to be who. It's seen through the spirit and through prophecy. Listen, now, if you want to be, hold on, listen. If you want to be, you're just saying we can't talk. Listen, because every time you say you ask the question, I'm trying to answer Genesis 49. Okay, so you made a statement now. Listen, yeah. let so me should answer. we be able to speak back as well? I didn't. I'm not done my question. I'm, I'm not done my answer. Okay. Can we so dialogue? Let's turn to yes, Genesis 49. Can. Dialogue. Hold okay. on. I can. We can go to any verse. We can go to Daniel. We can go no, to. Let's go. Hold on. You listen. Keep yeah. being emotional. Y'all gotta, I'd rather deal with y'all. He being more emotional. At least y'all can talk for you. Can you answer though? Yes, I can. Thank you for being patient and cordial. He's being emotional. We're not, As I was saying, we're not trying to have you divide us either though. No, no, it's not he's about not dividing. Being, he's, he's not, not being dumb. emotional. Man. He is. When you cut somebody off in the middle of their answer, that's emotional. Y'all have to admit that. That's madness. Where's your Howard shot in the bottom? First of all, brother, you gotta repent and leave that heat hey, alone. You gotta no, leave you that so-called white man alone. If you don't know your nationality, now that you know your identity, you cleaving on a man with Christianity. Brother, you chiefly, you're lost. You're an Israelite, right? Jesus came for Hold all on, people. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking, I'm not talking to you. I'm not hey, you're not in charge out here, bro. But I'm not talking to you. What's your nationality? We don't charge out here. What's your Show me where the Bible asked that question. I didn't ask. Show me where the Bible asked that question. Where does it show that? Show me where the Bible asked that question. Show me where the Bible asked that question. Brother, show me the Bible where they asked that question. Do you know where the Bible asked that question? Where does the Bible ask that question? I can't answer. Why are you asking me a question? Let's say yay, yay, or nay, be nay. Yeah. Does the Bible answer that question? Do you know? Does the Bible answer that question? And that that passes. Do you know the Bible asked that? Both of you. I can hear both of you. Does the Bible ask what's your nationality? Can I ask when people approach? Thank you. Thank you. At least he can notice, be more cordial. Notice how I can't answer it. Because you've what? been emotional like a female. You said I need to repent. I'm yes. about to get on you, bro. What do I need to repent? You're trying to insult for? somebody. For not wearing fringes. What? For what? Not wearing fringes. Neither is your man. Huh? Not Neither is your man. For not wearing fringes. Get on your man, and he ain't wearing fringes. Why do I? You can't what? see him. Hold you ashamed? Can't see him. What'd you say? I can't see him. What do I need to repent for? For not wearing fringes. Is that it? That's it? I mean, we got to repent for a lot of things, but I'm chiefly pointing out what's known. Well, according to first, I believe first John chapter 5, when he goes into the love of God, the love of God is to keep commandments, right? Right. And what does John 6, 29 say? John 6, 29 says, I'm in the middle of an answer. I'm in the middle of an answer. The commandment of God, the work of God. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Y'all recorded on three devices. He's trying to just teach to this guy. He's not having a dialogue. You gotta be patient. You gotta be patient. Even the Pharisees and Sadducees was patient. You keep cutting us off too. Every time we're bringing up something, you just say it's madness. Move oh, on to something listen, else. Listen, listen. You can't. I'll, I'll fairly answer your question. You gotta be patient. What's your name? My name is Julian. Julian, you gotta be patient. You're not gonna shake my hand. Hold on, Julian. Be patient. We can be friends. Julian, be patient. You Julian. can fist bump. Julian, Will be that patient. Work? Julian, something. What's your name, brother? We can I'm be friends, James. man. James. That's what my shake favorite his name. Hand? It's all praises. Hold on, James and Julian. Julian, first be patient. As for James, right? According to Numbers fifteen thirty-eight, we have to wear fringes, right? So, do you believe that the Israelites today know who they are? 
Um, I would say all together, like collectively. Because it is prophesied that they're going to lose their heritage. But do you believe all together right. that they're going to know who they are? Well, you can't. A Jew nowadays cannot go back and say I'm a part of this tribe because they've been scattered and moved among the people. So no, I'm not much. talking about tribes. That's what I mean. Well, that, no, that is being an Israelite. It's being a part of those tribes. You just the accent. You just because. Well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to answer. Chiefly accent in general, just an Israelite. Are they, do the Israelites know who they are? Do they know that they're an Israelite before they're a tribe? Do they know that they're an Israelite? That is what being an Israelite is, is being a part of those tribes. So they don't they're know. One, that's one in the same point. Okay, so they don't know at all. They wouldn't be able to trace it back. Yeah. So nobody knows so today. What are you able to trace it Wait, wait, I, I had a question after him. And then you, don't forget yours. So nobody today knows who that they're Israelites. I'm, I'm still not understanding exactly what you mean by that question. Anybody today, anybody today, do they, let's say, let me, ask, let me phrase it like this. Sure. People in this world today, does anybody in this world know who the real Israelites are? You're still talking about today, and we would talk about fair, different no, times. But that's periods. a fair question. That is a fair question. Do you? Yes. But we, we go, we're going to go back in a circle. Know? It's a right? question that and can be And then I go back to ways, Deuteronomy, though. and we're going to go in a circle. But if you don't know, that's why the Lord said, let your yay be yay and nay be nay. If it's a yes or no, we can build off that's that. That's about promises. That's not about this. What's about promises? That, that scripture where it says, don't make promises, but let your yes be yes and your no be no. no it's I, talking about not making oaths among people. This is not about that. Have this you heard of a, a different right, thing. Right, Job 11 and 6 speak about the scripture being a double to that which is. Certain things are double fold, right? Did not Paul pull certain scriptures out of so-called context yes. to persuade Israel? He did. Right, so again, real right. quick, so real quick, that's but why you have, have to show on, where quick. that's about Hold the on, promises. Real, real quick, that's why I'm saying, that's why it's double fold, right? You can still apply it to other precepts. That's why it says in the book of Sarai. You can't just choose whatever. No, no, I, I know that. No, I, I know that, right? What but I'm saying, right? What I'm saying is, a wise, that's why it says in the book of Sarai, a wise man will hear a word and add there unto it, right? So you can hear certain words, you can add unto it and use it for your benefit. But we don't spirit. agree Hold with Sarai, though. We don't think that's scripture. Do the spirit. Can I get your name, brother? Yaradon. Yaradon? Yaradon. Yaradon. Yes. If you don't agree with Sarai, that's a whole nother topic because we'll dive into it. Right. But earlier you asked me, well, how do I know? It can go right back to Deuteronomy. That's why it is a fair question. Who are the Israelites? You either know or don't know. It's either yes or no, or you don't know. Which is it? Is it fair to say that you're getting your assumption of who is an Israelite based on what Deuteronomy 28 is saying? Like what the blessings, I, I, the curses? I, I can't answer that, but first, I think it's fair for a yes or no to be heard. Why? Because it, it, it just got to be that simple. Why is it that simple? Though? Because you would know either you know something in life or you don't, right? You either know something or you don't. That's what life is. You either know or don't. But not everything is so simple to be yes or no. But do you, or I don't know. Do you know who the Israelites are today? Yes or no? It can no, be or a I don't more know. complicated answer than that. It doesn't have to be yes or no. It's either you know or you don't know. No, it's not. So you don't know. That's not what I'm saying. So can I say that you don't know? That's not what I'm saying. Well, I'm saying, can I say that you don't know? You can't speak for me. Well, you can't speak for yourself because you don't know. That's you just spoke for me. I'm saying you can't even speak according according to yourself based off the present knowledge of this world. I'm saying it's more complicated than a yes or no. Why is it complicated? You're asking about whether a single person can know if they're an Israelite, right? Yes. Is that right? Yes. We know that the Israelites have been scattered throughout the nations, right? Yes. So do you mean Israelite by blood? Do you mean Israelite by tribe? Do you mean Israelite by genealogy? Do you mean don't the Israelites got the same blood? When you read on Luke the third chapter, but it's been mixed among the nations. It's been mixed. Yeah, yeah, they have been scattered among the nations. So your blood can be mixed amongst another nation. What does that mean? I'm asking you. What, does, your blood, what does that have to do with? Because you said we've been mixed amongst the other nations. Can your blood be mixed amongst the other nations? I'm saying the Israelites have been scattered among the nations. You said mixed. They've, they've, you said mixed amongst the other nations. Right, because they've re they've reproduced with people. So like, what's the problem? If an Israelite woman has a child with a heathen man, what is that child? Is it an Israelite or not? You're talking about something different now, because you're presupposing that you're an Israelite. No, 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 no. What I said, I'm gonna say it again slowly. I said if an Israelite woman have a child with an Israelite man, and they have a child how is that an Israelite baby or is it not? Are you talking about ethnicity or are you talking about being under the law? Because you can be an un under the law by e having ethnicity. ethnicity. Well, that's a whole different thing then. It's either, I'm not, I'm not hearing no yes or no's or I don't know. It gotta be, yeah, is it an Israelite baby or not? Ethnicity can be percentage, it can be half, it can be So a you can be a percentage of another nation. Of another nation. Yeah, of, of, an, of another group. ethnicity, right? You can have a mix of ethnic so groups. Can I be half, are you saying that I can be possibly half Asian, half so-called black? Sure. Could be. So I could be. 
Sure. What's the problem with that? I mean, doesn't the Lord say he's going to redeem Israel? What does that have to do with that? The Israelites, they have a chosen bloodline, right? Do you agree that the Israelites have a chosen bloodline? Even, I've, I've talked to a lot of Christians, even they believe that. I've never heard nobody disagree with Even that. Christians believe that. What I was think the chosen bloodline for? What was it for? From the beginning. From no, what, what was it for? What was it for? What was it for? Why what was the he, purpose why of the did he chosen call bloodline? Israelites? Well, you can read that in Romans chapter 9. You have an honor the best one, an honor the this best one, right? The Lord has his chosen. He doesn't have a chosen, right? The same way you have a favorite shirt, you have your favorite shirt. The Lord has his favorites, and he has the things he hates, like when you read in Proverbs chapter 6, verse 16. So again, the Lord has a chosen bloodline from the beginning. That's how we know. Wait, wait. Doesn't this, What's the hold purpose on. of that bloodline? I want to stand on my same point, right? The Lord said, if the moon and the sun and the stars be departed, so shall Israel be a, a nation before me. And because we can still see the sun, the moon, and the stars, we know that Israel is still a nation, right? But Israel is an Israelite by blood, right? Do you agree to that? No. Why not? Because in the New Testament, it talks about the Gentiles being grafted into Israel. Right. Were they broken off? Were the Gentiles broken off? The Gentiles had, so at the Tower of Babel, right? I, trust me, trust me, this. Oh, I want to listen. We yes. got to step back. Okay. I want to listen. Trust me, this is related. Okay, okay. The Tower of Babel. At the Tower of Babel. Wait, Romans was that? 11. Hold on. Okay. That was Jeremiah 31. So. At the Tower of Babel, you have all these people who are saying, we're going to build a tower to heaven. We're not going to scatter among the earth like God told us to. God comes in, changes the languages, scatters the nations. Then you go to Deuteronomy 32. Let me just finish you made this a mistake, though, but I, I got you, I got you. You go to Deuteronomy 32, 8 and 9. Um, God is talking about that time. Or sorry, this is one of the, this might be Moses talking about that time. But he's saying, God chose from among the nations his people Israel for his inheritance. So you have all these people and got... Huh? Which people is this people? From Abraham, he plucked him out of Mesopotamia. And who is chosen after Abraham? Well, I'm getting there. Okay. So he's going to tell us, but I got you. He plucks Abraham out of Mesopotamia. Okay. He makes his people, God's people. Then you've got Moses, then you've got Saul, then you've got David going down through the years, right? It ends with Jesus being the Messiah. He's the, that's the whole reason that the Israelite people keep God's commandments because God prophesied that the Messiah was going to come and then he comes and then the New Testament talks about the Gentiles being grafted into this Israel. So you have the Israel of the Old Testament which was chosen from among the nations. Who the Israelites of the Old Testament? Then you, hold on, then you have those nations being grafted back in because it says, because everybody, because it Does says, it say that? yes, because it says salvation is from the Jews, right? Salvation is from the Jews, but it's given to the Gentiles. Anybody who believes in Jesus, this is John 3.16, anybody who believes in Jesus will have eternal life. How do you know that that still applies to people today? Because then the Lord say, when a sun, moon, and the heavens and the stars depart, so shall Israel be a nation. So, so shall Israel stop being a nation before me. Then the Lord say that. So that's how we know it still applies. So, or else that means Israel is not a nation no more. Can you read this for me, or I'll read it? You can read it. This is Hebrews, Hebrews 7. So the former commandment, this is talking about the law of Moses in the Old Testament. You touch me something that's completely on a different context. No, it's not. No, it's not. You got it. So the former commandment is set aside because it was weak and useless for the law made nothing perfect. He's talking about the law here. Every every law? What do you mean every, every law? Every commandment? Mm, See, that's not. why we got that's why I'm saying it's gonna be taken out of context. Okay, okay, here's a We'll get to that. <laughs> For the law made nothing perfect, and a better hope is introduced by law, by which we draw near to God. Right. So all the laws are the law is just useless. Is that what you're saying? So the Mosaic law has been set aside. So I can sleep with my sister. No, no, no. Because there's the law of Jesus. You know what the law of Jesus in the New Testament? No, no, explain to us. I can find it if you give me a minute. No, you got it, you got it. But Jesus says certain things that are the same principle as the Old Testament. He brings some of those things into the New Testament. Right. When he's talking to the rich young ruler. He was like, have you followed the commandment so and so and so, right? But he came. Wait, wait, say that again. He, when he's talking to that rich young ruler, okay. who was a Jew under the Mosaic law at that time. You <laughs> said was it. I, 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 I'm hearing, I'm hearing. You got it. There's two ways you can say Jew, right? There's ethnic Jew and there's like Jew under the law, under the Mosaic law. Those are two Is different that in things. The Bible? Yes. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. 
So, because you could have people from Israel that went to other nations and didn't follow the Mosaic law, but they still had the ethnicity. That's the point I'm making. Are they so, heathen or, I'm sorry, are they Jews or are they not? They're a Jew amongst other nations. See, that's what I'm saying. You're using the word Jew in both senses. I'm using it in two different senses. You're using the same word. We're using the same word, but you're only using one definition. I'm using two. What that's two the definitions are you using? Ethnically or just under the law. Okay. Yeah. Someone can have ethnic Jewish ancestry and be a Jew in that sense. Okay. And then somebody could be under the law, under the Mosaic law, and be a Jew in that sense. All right, go ahead. Or you could say Does a part of Israel. Sense? Not really, but you got it because you okay. got an overall point. I don't want to stray from that point. So talking about the law of Jesus. He Galatians said... You can bring it up if you want. I think that's relevant. Um, Jesus lays out these commandments in the New Testament. Um, not, I think it's nine of the Ten Commandments he brings over to the New Testament. He doesn't bring over the thing about the Sabbath. But, you know, here's an example. If you look at a woman with lust in your heart, you've committed adultery with her in your heart, right? If you hate your brother, you've committed murder in your heart, right? Things like that. So he, he has these laws that he brings in because he has the authority to do so, being God in the flesh. Did he add him to the law? Did he add him to the law? What yeah. do you mean? Did he add him to the uh, Torah? No, I know what you're saying. So that's Did he add him to the Torah? I think you could say he completed the Torah. Okay. Because he said, I didn't come to abolish the law, but to exactly. fulfill it. Right. But it says, these things won't pass away, not a jot or a tittle, until all has been accomplished. Right. The thing that was accomplished was his death and resurrection. His death on the cross and his resurrection. Then we move into the New Testament times. That's why it's called a new covenant. In Hebrews, it talks about there being a new covenant, right? I just, I, I, the Old Testament law is a guide, a guardian unto the New Testament times. Schoolmaster? Mm -hmm. Like a schoolmaster, like saying Galatians, is that what you're referring to? Say it again. A schoolmaster in Galatians, is that what you're referring to? No. Like a guide? No, I'm, talk, I'm talking about Hebrews. Okay. Where it says that the Old Testament was a guardian for us, but since we've come to Jesus, we don't need the guardian anymore. So we don't need the Lord. We don't need the what? We need the law or not. We need the law of Jesus now, not the law of Moses. The law what's of Moses. The, what's the difference? The law of Moses was to convict people and show them that they were imperfect, that they couldn't uphold the law. The law of Jesus is believing in Jesus for salvation and then following what he says because you love him. If you don't follow the law, are you going to be convicted and judged by God? Well, if you see the law, the law convicts people. No, That's, no. Yeah, I know. For you for the John right. believe, I'm asking, if you don't believe in the law, or if you don't keep the law under, as you said, Jesus' law, right, will you be convicted and judged by God? Yes. Alright, so what's the difference? Because the law that Jesus talks about is simply believing in Him. Okay, I get in that. John 6, 29, He says the work, the work of God is to believe in the right, one He has sent. Because He's that sacrificial lamb, right, as opposed to physical bullocks, right? Right. Right, so and that's because, the only difference, right? Well, in that same passage that I mentioned in Hebrews 7, that's when it says Jesus is a priest in the order of Melchizedek, right? Yeah, we get and that. because, well, hold on, one more thing. Because he is a priest forever, he lives forever. You jumped to my point, but I, you got it, you got it. I'm coming back to it. My main I'm, question I'm, was, I am coming back to it. Can I sleep with my sister, yes or no? No. Why not, according to who? Jesus. Jesus said that? He said if you look at a woman with lust, you commit no. adultery with her in your heart. No, no, That's no, way more sister. strict. It's way I'm more strict. Sister. That includes sisters. You don't have, no, I'm just a woman. Sister. You can be a bugged sister, out. Your, a sister is a woman. No, no, I'm saying you can be bugged out your mind and still sleep with your sister, right? It doesn't make it right. Exactly, no. but is it sin? Yeah. Yeah. According to who? Jesus. Jesus. Why? Because if you look at a woman, but he's lust. not doing it with lust. He's bugged out. Men are literally bugged out their damn mind. He's not looking at this just for lust. He just that is lust. No, no, yeah, he's just doing. It doesn't matter if he's bugged no, out. Some it's people, still lust. It's hold on, listen, listen. Some people You're kill. Not married to your sister, listen, are you? listen, listen. <laughs> Some people kill with the intent, right? Typically, that's what murder is. You premeditate it, right? Right. Then you have psychopaths. Yeah. Murder right? with malice aforethought. That's right. the wording. Yeah. Right. So when you have psychopaths that literally murder, right? Yeah. Do they still murder? Isn't it both off? No. They might be, they might have an idea. So the psych psychopathy in their head would tell them this is okay, right? But they still are the ones that choose. Are you going to be held accountable? Everyone is going to be. No one right. is without a So they got to be held accountable by the law, right? Yes. Exactly. Right. right. So but it's not the law of Moses. So if I. It's the law of Jesus. So, which says, believe in me and you will have eternal life. So you're saying they both say. John 3 16. So you're saying they both say, I can't sleep with my sister. Yeah. Yeah. They both said that. Yeah. So, I know what you're is talking about. Is that under the law of Moses? Did yeah. Moses, hold on, I got, hold on, my okay. better question is this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right. Did Moses introduce that you can't sleep with your sister, yes or no? Yes. yes. Right, so that's the law of Moses, correct? Yeah. yeah. Right. And the law so, of Jesus completes the law of Moses. But never, but when you say you don't have to keep the law, what law? The law of Moses. 
Did y'all hear what y'all just said? I know. Balls are in the low mode, like 613. 613. So, but did y'all hear what y'all just said? I'm not talking about the principle behind the law. I'm talking about no. I know. Under the... I know we have grace and mercy, but we still can't sin, right? Right. We're right. not saying that. We're right. No, I, I'm not saying y'all are. But I'm saying we can both agree that we have grace and mercy through Christ. So right. what is that grace? We have grace and mercy what is Christ. that grace? What does that grace right, wait, do? Christ, hold on, I agree. Hold on, that's another question. We're going to stick on one that's an topic. Important one. And we're going to stick on one topic, right? We have grace and mercy through Christ. We can agree to that, right? We didn't have that exact same force of grace and mercy under the under the, uh, the law of Moses, so to speak, right? Because sure. under the law of Moses, what happens? It tells you in the book of Hebrews, right? By two or three witnesses, that you get stoned if you do something worthy of death, correct? Right. Right. Do you all agree to that so far? I wouldn't say that that's enforced all the time, but the law is no, no. there. Right, under okay. the, you won't be put to death over everything, right? right? Because right. you have the law of you ignorance as well. You need to have witnesses, well. all that kind of you stuff. You got yeah. witnesses, you may, you right. may fall under the stipulation of a law of ignorance, right. you may not have known any better, Sure. right? So my point is this, you still have to keep the law, right? Yeah. And if Moses introduced that you can't sleep with your sister, that's still the law. Y'all try to like differentiate Moses and Christ, where no. Christ even said, hold on, Christ even said that if you believe in Moses, you should believe in me before he wrote him. Right. 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 They're essentially saying the same thing, but sometimes Christians they try to separate the two and separate the the the, uh, the unity between Moses and Christ. We agree. Hold on, we agree. By the way, we do agree that Christ right is our Lord and our Savior. Right, he gave up the ghost for us. Right. We agree to that part. What are you talking about? What did we do to atone for our sins all the time? The Jews used to sacrifice animals to atone right. for their under sins. Under what law? The Mosaic law. Right, under that portion of the Mosaic law. Right. People here, Christians uh, accumulate Mosaic law with all the laws. That's where y'all get confused here and there. Right, that's what I'm explaining. If my brother's in sin, I can't tell him, where's your sheep, where's your lamb? Because in Matthew you tell him, you give him Jesus. I know, but I'm saying, I agree. But I'm saying I can't tell my brother, hey, where's your sheep and your lamb? Because in Matthew 22, that's where the sermon comes in. That's why the Bible's not going to say everything exactly the way we need it to say. I don't follow. That's, I don't follow so, what you're saying. I'm going to say it slowly. If my brother's in sin, I won't tell him, hey, uh, what did I say? I said, if my brother, I'm sorry, if my brother's in sin, I can't tell him, bring your cat, your, your fatty calf and bring your goat. Why not? Because Christ is our sacrificial law, right? right? What was something we used to do in the ancient world to atone for our sins? Sacrifice what? Goats right. and bulls, right? We're thinking of Jesus being the sacrificial lamb differently. Huh? We're thinking of him being the sacrificial lamb no, no, differently. No, 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 no. I know, I get that. I agree. No, no, I get that. I agree. Right. right? What I'm saying is, that was under the Mosaic law, sacrificial animals, right? Yeah. Right. And we don't do that today, right? Right. But in Matthew 22, it doesn't say except for sacrificial law. Does it? It doesn't say that, does it? But that implies to believe on him. He is our sacrificial law. It says, I, it says, I, I agree. Hold on, I agree. But does it say it? Yes or no? It don't say it, right? It says is all it? the law. Hold on, brother. You know, brother, that's why you just said it, right? It implies what? That we have to believe in him still. Because right. we know through the Spirit that he died on the cross for our sins. And he's our sacrificial man forever, right? right? But it doesn't say uh, all the law except for it, sacrificial law. But it so is the Mosaic law done away with? Yes, because he points them to Jesus who fulfilled the Mosaic law. It's the whole it's point. Mosaic law done away with. The spirit is convicted, and I know you know, brother. Sincerely, not yes, all, the, not all of it. Yes. All of it. All of not it. All of it. Not Thank you. All of it. Thank you. That's that's why you, you gotta be humble. Dude. Julie, you gotta be humble. You know, not all the laws are done away with. You know it. All quoted in Romans. Jesus, Jesus carried laws over into the New Testament, but it's the it's Jesus's law which completes the law of Moses. We're not talking about being under the law of Moses because that I'm, I'm law. I'm speaking of the laws in general because the laws at the end of the day is of the Most High God. We brought that out of Psalm. Well, that's right? why we have to make that distinction. Well, that's why we say sacrificial laws. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Come on. I gotta go. You gotta go. Uh, Yardon, what's your name? James. 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 Yardon. All right. Uh, man, James is way more humble. You gotta hope it down, James. Father, I know you're guilty. You were guilty. Well, that was ridiculous. It was, I've been sitting here watching you guys for like 40 minutes. It was fun. Really, it but. was fun, but it was ridiculous. Can you pop the trunk? Yep. They were trying to divide me and James the whole time, saying yeah. I was prideful and he was a brother that needed to be awakened and you know, all yeah, this exactly. stuff. Um, I'm gonna go, but. How'd yours go, vocab?
Oh, uh, they mainly just turn the other way. Oh, man. Or, like, turn to the side. I've never had so much... Disengagement. Ignoring. Yeah, this is probably the most disengagement I've ever... Green. ...seen. We had a great conversation with... Um, Yeradon is his name. Um, but he kept trying to divide us. Remember kept, I told you? I know. Yeah. He kept, like... We we would say... He would ask us a question, and we'd say different things, but we'd mean the same thing. So, like, he asked us, do you need to keep the commandments? And I said no, because I knew he was referring to the Mosaic Law. Right. He said yes, but he meant that they are kept through Christ. He just didn't right. get there yet. And so, because we answered differently, the guy tried to divide us, and he was like, see, you get it. And he called me prideful, and he's like, you need to be humble. And I was like, <laughs> brother, do you know what you're saying? Uh, all I could do is smile. It's like, and and this man kept trying to answer questions while I'm like, we have to go. And and now it look, you made it look like I'm trying to run away and pull you away with me. So they'll have a they'll have a, ooh, we caught a coward running away kind of thing. Who cares? If I'm a coward for Christ, so be it. So be it.